Hi, I'm Janice Gentles Jones from OnlineSuccessQueen.com. I'd like to welcome you to this video on how to convert an email into an action item using Microsoft Outlook. Now, you may get many emails every day, and those emails can easily pile up. And one of the things that you can do to help reduce that clutter that's usually in your inbox is to actually take an email that has an action associated with it and put it in your to-do list. And Microsoft Outlook, as you know, comes with the task feature, and a task feature is what you can, where you can keep your running to-do list. Now, when an email comes in and you have an action item for it, it might be that you need to do something or you might need to follow up on that email, you can actually take that email and convert it easily into a task. And I'm going to take you through that steps on how you can do that. The version of Outlook that I'll be using today is Outlook 2007, but keep in mind that these steps will work in any version of Outlook that you're using. So let's go over to Outlook right now and see how you can easily convert an email into a task. Okay, here we are in Outlook, and I have this email that I'd like to be able to convert into a task because I want to follow up on it later. So the first thing I need to do, I don't actually have to have the email open. But the first thing I need to do is to make sure I'm in my inbox and be able to see my message. I'm going to put my mouse right on the message and drag my mouse right on top of the taskbar. So again, I put my mouse on the message and I drag my mouse on top of the taskbar. And notice, once I finish doing that, the Outlook will take my email and convert it into a task. It also takes the content of the email and put it in the body of the task. So I don't have to retype this message or anything like that. It takes the whole message and copies it into the task. Now the subject for the task is picking up the subject that was in the original email. So I'm going to change that because that's not going to be meaningful to me on my to-do list. The action that I'd like to take on this email is to check out the free directories that are mentioned in this email. So this, for subject, I'm going to put check out free directories. Uh, mentioned in the CEO email, the SEO email, I should say. Now, because it's a task, I can perform the regular task functions like I normally would. So for a due date, if I wanted to set a due date, I can select the drop-down arrow and pick the date that I'd like to follow up on this. So I'm just going to choose Friday. And I also want to set a reminder so that when Friday does come, that it reminds me to follow up on this task. So I check the reminder box, which will enable it, and I'm going to tell it to remind me at around 11 a.m. on Friday. So what I've done is I've taken my email, I've dragged it on top of the task folder, it Outlook then converts it into a task with the message intact, I put my to-do item in the subject, what I want to do next with this email, I put my due date and my reminder, and now all I have to do is click Save and Close. And if I go to my task list, I can actually see that email there. So notice here it says check out free directories mentioned in the SEO email. Okay. Now if you notice when we go back to our inbox, the email is actually still there. So just because you convert the email into a task, it does not delete the email. But at this point I have two options that I can do to this email. Since I've already converted it into a task, I can delete it if I no longer need it. Or I can follow it away for reference just in case I want to review it again or if I want to follow up or forward it to someone else. So for me, I'm going to actually keep it. Now, I don't always keep these emails, but for this particular purpose, I will keep it just in case I need to share it with a client. So I'm going to put it in my reference folder. I have an email folder or a newsletter folder, and I'm going to drop it into my SEO tips folder. And that's it. So now I can actually apply this type of action to all my emails that come in. If they require an action and I'm not able to follow up on that action immediately, I can easily convert that email into a task and then just follow up with it later on and have Outlook remind me when I need to follow up on it. So I thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this tip was helpful. Be sure to practice what you've learned and you can always replay this video again just so that you can make sure you get the steps right. And I hope to hope you'll join me on my next video tip. This is Janice Gentles Jones from OnlineSuccessQueen.com, and I'm hoping to make technology easy for you. See you next time.